In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rank formula when you have duplicates in your data set. I have a data set over here consisting of months and their respective sales quantities. And as you can observe in this data set, some of the sales quantities are duplicated. For example, the months of February and May have the exact same sales quantity of 145. Moreover, months of July and October also have the same sales quantity of 101. Now, what happens if I apply the rank formula to this range and how is it going to treat these duplicated values? Let's find out. So I'm going to apply the rank formula in this range over here. And here's how it goes. I'll put equal sign, rank, open parentheses. I'll select the first cell in the range, which is the cell, and then I'll put comma, and then I will select the full range, which is this range over here. And I'll also apply a reference lock. Close parentheses, enter, and we're done. Now all I have to do is to scroll this formula all the way down, as so. And as you can see here, the months of February and May are showing the exact same rank of eight in this case. And we don't want that. We want the ranks to be, first of all, in descending manner, which they currently are. And secondly, we want them to be sequential. In other words, if the same sales quantity is repeated twice, we want the second one to be incremented by one. So in this case, we want this sales quantity for February to be eight and the sales quantity for May to be nine. And same thing for July and October. As you can see, they're showing the exact same rank, but we don't want that. We want the rank to be sequential whenever we have a duplicate. So if I go ahead and apply conditional formatting to wherever we have duplicates, you will see that these four cells over here, these two months, months of February and May, and also July and October have duplicate sales quantities. And for that reason, the rank for those two sets of months is showing duplicate rank. Now I'll show you what the solution for this is. In order to overcome this and get a sequential rank whenever we have duplicates is to make an addition to our rank formula. And that addition is as follows. So the new and revised formula that I will use in order to avoid getting duplicates in the rank is currently displayed on the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that formula in this range over here. So you can see the difference. So first I'll put equal sign and I'll start off with the exact same rank formula that we used before. So rank, open parentheses, the first cell in the range, comma, and then the full range. Again, I will apply reference lock and close parentheses. Now, the difference in this formula is, as you can see, we have to include an addition. And to do that, I will put in the plus sign. Then I will use the count if formula. So I'll type count if, open parentheses, and then I will select the first cell in the range and I will apply a reference lock to it. Then I will put a colon and then I'll put a reference to the first cell in the range again. Then I'll put a comma and then the first cell in the range again, close parentheses, minus one. And I'll explain how exactly this count if works in a moment, but first let's apply it to the full range and see if it does what we want it to do. That is, give us a sequential ranking whenever we have duplicates. So the first ranking is correct. Now let's go ahead and apply it to the full range as so. So you can see here that this rank with no ties formula has done the exact same thing that the rank formula in this range has done. However, whenever we have duplicates, it has ranked the duplicates sequentially. So in this case, in months of February and May, where we have a duplicate, the rank formula has returned duplicates. That is, it has returned a ranking of eight. However, our new formula, which has the count if addition, has returned eight for the first value, which is duplicated, and then it has incremented that value by one for the second occurrence. And the same thing has happened for months of July and October. So our previous rank formula, which we applied in this range over here, gave us a duplicate for July and October, as they both have the same value of 101. However, the new rank formula 
in this range, it has incremented the value by one for the second occurrence of the duplicate value, 101. And that's how we want it. We want the values to first be ranked in descending manner. And whenever we have a duplicate, we want them to be ranked sequentially. In other words, if we have a duplicate value, we want that duplicate value to be incremented by one. And this is exactly what we're getting here. Now, let me explain briefly how this count if formula works. So what the count if formula does is it counts the number of occurrences of each value. For example, this formula over here counts the number of occurrences of the value 145 in the cells above it. If the value has only been repeated once, then this count if formula will return the number one and the one will be subtracted by one and will get zero. However, if a number has been repeated more than once, for example, in this case, then this count if formula will return, in this case, two. And two minus one is one, and one is going to be added to our rank formula. And that's why in this cell over here, the value eight is being incremented by one, as opposed to the rank formula alone, which was giving us duplicates. And this is how it's done. I hope you got a value from this video. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. That's all for today. Bye now.